Maybe until now you have thought of vaping as an abstract risk, something theoretical or distant. But what is really happening inside your body every time you inhale that seemingly harmless cloud? If you are one of those who think there isn't enough evidence to be concerned, what you are about to discover could deeply shake your perception. It's true that vaping has been on the market for a relatively short time, and we are still in the early years of scientific research. But even in this short period, the preliminary results are alarming. The first thing you should know is that your lungs are not designed to filter ultra-fine particles or harsh chemicals that come in the form of a hot aerosol. These chemicals penetrate deep into the respiratory system, causing chronic inflammation, which is your body's natural response to any threat. But what if it is prolonged? It can result in irreversible damage. Recent studies have found that frequent users of vaping show clear signs of persistent lung inflammation. What exactly does this mean? It means that each puff could slowly be bringing you closer to chronic lung diseases like obstructive bronchitis and even pulmonary fibrosis, an irreversible and devastating condition where healthy lung tissue is progressively replaced by scar tissue, severely limiting your breathing capacity. But the problem does not end in the lungs. Scientists have observed that vaping also significantly affects the cardiovascular system. The inhaled aerosol rapidly alters the inner lining of your arteries, causing endothelial damage, a worrying first step towards serious heart diseases. Recent research indicates that even young vapors, healthy and apparently active individuals, are at a higher risk of hypertension, coronary artery disease, and premature heart attacks compared to people who do not vape. If you still believe that your body is handling this habit well, consider this. Your immune system is also under constant attack. Vaping significantly weakens your ability to defend against respiratory and bacterial infections. This means that something as simple as a common cold could easily turn into pneumonia or more serious lung infections in people who vape regularly. At this point, you are probably wondering how society could so quickly adopt such a dangerous habit without sufficiently questioning its safety. Maybe it is because the more serious damages take time to manifest, which allows vaping to maintain its misleading image of safety. But don't be fooled. The real, deep, and potentially irreversible damage might already be occurring within you. If this still doesn't convince you to reconsider your relationship with vaping, Wait to discover how nicotine delivered in high doses and extremely swiftly might be transforming your brain more deeply than you imagine.